we're back again. Just as we had looked at some of the very basics of the menu in Active Inspire, we're going into much more detail in this video of Active Inspire and specifically the toolbars on the right side. First of all, let us start with a new flip chart. Okay, what that does is it activates these. Over here, as you can see, many of these were grayed out before I had selected a new one. Let me start at the top with the main menu. If you click on the main menu, you have all of the things that you would have on the menu that goes across the top up here. So if your top menu disappears for any reason, you can come over here and just click on this. Go to File, New, Flip Chart, Open a Recent One. Once we're working them through, you can close your flip charts, save them, a summary, publish your flip charts, uh, import items, let's say that you have something that was developed on a smart board. The generic term is interactive whiteboard. This is a Promethean board. So if it was developed on a smart board and saved as an IWB, then you can import it. It would be this one right here, common file format. And then there's specific settings that you would want to possibly consider. And then under edit, we have your design mode, undo, redo, page background, your grid, your clear, so on and so forth, questions and current page. Then you have a student database, which that is, that, that's something we will get into when we begin into the intermediate level and talk about students clicking to join a um, the class. You have groups and then you have device registration and then you have different profiles which we did take a glance at those. Let me click on this and show you again. The profiles allows you to say what, how you want your layout to be and then you can save that profile for yourself. So user-defined buttons you can say well I want a specific program to come up such as Chrome Firefox, you want to create a button that will open a browser or if you want to create a button that will open a, a video program or an audio program or an application that you're going to show that may be specific to your needs. That's what you would select here. Under your commands, here are those that show up in the main toolbox. If I would decide in my teaching of a class that I need this button to import from PDF because I do it frequently then I click on this and I select add it is now appearing in our menu I want to export my results to Excel I can add that if I want to do a window snapshot in the process of what I'm doing I just want to take a snapshot of what's on the screen then I can add that button freehand snapshot that's so you can select a specific area and then take a snapshot of it um, handwriting recognition this I will show you how that works I'm going to go ahead and add it so it is now over here right next to the PDF import now, since I do not use the PDF import I'm going to remove it and that's how you remove it and then if you just if you're teaching math and you decide that the ruler is something that is important to you protractor a set square etc all these math tools you want them to show up but you want them in your main toolbox and not have to go to the profile that is specific for mathematics then you can add these here as well and sometimes tick, ticker tape only shows up in mathematics profile right now but I want to use it so let's go ahead and add it and now ticker tape is at the, at the bottom here again where the others have been added and I'm going to select that I want to save this as so I'm going to select uh, to put it in documents and name it demo as I am demonstrating to you how this works save successfully done and now if I look over here, go to your right side of your screen, see that I can see user-defined buttons, and then I can see profiles. Well, in my profiles, 
I have at the board authoring my goals. If we're in my goals, we'll demo show on our list. Let's go. And there it is. Slowly switching back. There we are. What do these things do? This one right here. I want to be able to write very good it, it so it is truly a handwriting recognition there next in our menu let's go ahead and clear this off so I'm just going to draw a rectangle or I mean a triangle a circle and a star to so that you can see okay there's this page well, how do I make another one? Do I insert a new page, a blank page before the current, after the current? Well, yes, that would work. Let me show you an easier way. Over here, if you look at the arrows, next page and previous page, well, you can't go to previous because we're on the first. So let's go to next and see what next does. It creates a new page for us that's not exactly obvious however now that you know the trick you're ahead of the game so let's go to working with some other tools I have just drawn this diamond shaped image and I want to play with paint I want to do some changes in the fill well I changed the fill to red that's because red was selected here I want it neon green change it again if you've worked with any kind of paint programs you are very familiar with how the fill works I had this selected earlier so we will say and it recognized that handwriting well I want diamond to be in the middle here well, I want to change the color of the word diamond so I double click inside highlight the words go up here to the top change from black to yellow not exactly readable then let's go over here we've done the pages we have the start stop flip chart vote that is when we are using voting clickers we're not using those yet so I will skip that part this also is a polling tool which requires the clickers then there's the arrow as referred to as a select tool that I am using now and then our tools themselves which gives us much more such as the magic ink the revealer the spotlight circular spotlighting camera math tools launching active view and so forth sound recorder in case you want your voice on it and or music that you want recorded that will go along with it and this comes in very handy when students are watching the flip chart by themselves and you are not there they can go from page to page of your flip chart and as they hear your voice at the end of each point you say next page and they can click to the next page then we have our text tool which you have seen well put to use then we have the media form tools so you can select the type of various types of media you may want to insert such as a sound file or an image let's say if you photograph of somebody um, Dr. Barnett that is a small video let's go ahead and see if we can insert it so here's how it shows up and then I can move it to where I want now you know how to insert a video this would be to delete what you're doing this would be to exit and then your design mode notice that every time you roll your mouse over the orange or blue image it still says design mode here's what you have to recall orange is in the designing mode note how I can move this around 
note that all the things the squares don't show up on the, the edges when I do that when it's under blue if I select this to move it I can move it these are referred to as handles those do not show up when I'm in blue blue is the playing mode that's when you're ready to actually use it so that's the using mode. now that is all for this video of a little bit more into tools